Alright guys, this is part three of our PF, <clears throat> our PF Tech Special, and we are creating our fruiting chamber. And the first thing that we're doing is we're taking our bag of perlite, we poke some holes in the bottom of it, you could just use a strainer, but we're just going to go ahead and rinse all of our perlite and get it nice and soaked. Perlite holds a lot of water, that's the whole reason that we use it, uh, to keep our mushroom uh, fruiting chamber nice and humid. So just go ahead and give it a nice rinse. So for fruiting with our PF Tech, we're going to be using a seedling sprout or clone dome. These are very inexpensive. You can get them at your local hydroponics store um, and you can use them a bunch of times. Um, so what the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to take some alcohol and we're just going to go ahead and clean it um, both. Just give it a nice wipe down with a paper towel. Next step is just take your soaked perlite and just fill it up in the container. Just fill it up the whole way. This next step is called birthing. You're just going to open up your jar and you're just going to take it on a wooden surface and crack it out. As you see, the bottom part fell apart, but the rest of the cake did not. This bottom part was the part that was mostly vermiculite. So uh, then you're just going to want to take, take your, uh, your cake and rinse it under some cold water to get all that extra dry vermiculite off of it. And then dunk it in some water. And then we're just going to, uh, once we get all of our cakes in there, we're just going to put a plate over top of it to make sure it stays submerged. And we're going to leave it in there for 24 hours. All right, our cakes have been soaking for about 24 hours, so what we're going to do is just take these weights off and um, we'll go ahead and rinse these cakes. Uh, you can see a bunch of stuff floating in there. What that means is that uh, one or a few of the cakes were not fully colonized. That's okay, though. So we're just going to go ahead and rinse these off with cold water. Now we're going to take these up and do the roll. This next part is the roll to our dunk and roll technique, but it doesn't always have to be a roll. You can just uh, do what you got to do to get a layer of uh, vermiculite casing on the outside. You just want to put dry vermiculite on it, just coat it like a chicken wing or something. So just like get it all covered with some of this dry vermiculite. Once it's all coated, just set it on its side on top of a piece of aluminum foil or a lid of your jar. Um, so it'll just have a small barrier between that and the perlite. All right, we got them in there. Um, you, you see how we have them staggered. This is so that the fruits uh, have more room to uh, just do their thing. Um, I only recommend doing four per uh, clone dome. And the last step that you're gonna wanna do is take a, a spray bottle, make sure you have one of these handy and just uh, Spray the outside, I mean, spray the inside of your clone dome to add to the uh, humidity. And you're going to want to open this up and spray it once a day uh, for two reasons. One, to add for humidity, and two, you want to open it up so that they can get some oxygen because they'll produce a lot of CO2 in there. And then you can just go ahead and give them a mist when you open it up as well. Just give them a nice mist. And then go ahead and close it up. And uh, just open it once a day, give them a miss, miss the, miss the lid, and then you will you should see fruits within a, few, a week or so. And then uh, you should get a few flushes. And uh, one, after we get our first flush, I'll go over technique how to increase your next flush. If you have any questions or comments, throw that down. Uh, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Share on Facebook, Twitter. Don't forget to subscribe and propagate and mycelium.